Hello my friends, today I'm going to show you how to configure several interfaces with one subnet. Here we have HRX and on the Ethernet Zero, by default we have 192.168.1.1 is the IP address with slash 24. Now, what if we want to have the other interfaces within the same subnet? Now, if you don't know how to configure this, what you would do is, let's say you have a router here, right? And you would connect switch to this router. And then on that switch, you would connect anything you want. And this would be Ethernet 0. But what if we don't have this switch or we don't want to buy a switch or connect like 5, 8 or 16 port switch just to connect a couple of devices here. Let's say access point and something else, I don't know, switch. We can do that on Edge Router. We can actually have all these interfaces into one subnet. It just doesn't make because this is a router and we have to route the traffic. So you need at least two interface within different subnets. So let's say the Ethernet one is the ISP. And why would it be ISP? Because by default, there's a DHCP configured on it. That means if you plug something that has DHCP server on that broadcast domain, this interface will get the IP address. So usually you would connect the ISP here. Now, in order to have all these interfaces, not except Ethernet 1, the other interfaces into the same subnet, you would first need to come up with the new subnet or use the temporary subnet. Let's say we want to use something else. Uh, I would configure that new subnet on the switch zero, and then I would assign the ethernet two, three, and four to this interface switch zero. Let's go here. I'm going to change to manual IP address and I'm going to type 172.16.0.1 with slash 24. And I'm going to click save. And now I have this new IP address here. And of course I can connect all the other IPs, all the other interfaces here. Let's say what we have. We have Ethernet zero, not zero, two, without IP address on it. It's enabled, but no IP address. And if we have the same here on three and four, we can assign these IP interfaces into switch zero to bridge with them. But we cannot do the same with Ethernet 0 because Ethernet 0 has the IP address. And if you remove the IP address, you will lose the connection. And that's why we want to put some temporary subnet on the switch 0. And only after that, we can change and use the same subnet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unplug my computer from Ethernet 0. And I'm going to plug that cable into Ethernet 4, but first we need to assign interface 4 and 3 and 2 to the switch 0. So this is how you sign. You go into configuration of the switch 0 and go into V1 and then switch ports. And you're going to do 2, 3, 4. Why not 0? Because 0 already has the IP address. And if you don't remove that IP address, you won't be able to assign this interface to the switch zero. Now, if you remove the IP address before you connect through the new interface, you will lose connection. And Ethernet one is for the ISP. So, and it has a DSP, I'm not going to use that. So if I click save, now I have a new subnet with three interface in it, Ethernet two, three and four and it's ready to use in terms of the uh, layer three configuration on the interface now i'm going to connect to this ip so let me unplug the cable from ethernet zero and plug it to ethernet four okay i did that now i need to type this ip address to connect to the same router but first i need to change the ip address of my computer which i use to connect to edge router. I'm going to go into properties of the IP address and going to change the IP address from that into new subnet, which we have there. 
and my IP is going to be 05, let's say. Then I'm going to do slash 24, just like I did the IP address on the edge router. Let's confirm we have the new IP address. Yes, we do. Now I'm going to close that and let me type the new IP address here. And as you can see, I can connect to the new IP address. And if I enter default username and password, which I have for this lab, you will see that the Ethernet zero is now disconnected. It's not connected here anymore. So what I can do now is I can remove this IP address from Ethernet zero by switching to no IP address. And then I will be able to assign the Ethernet zero to the same switch zero. Let's go there and do this. Okay. Now, what if we want to use the same subnet, same IP address as it had by default? Let's say this one, right? Uh, hold on, it didn't refresh. Let me refresh that because this IP should be removed from here. And now it is removed. Now, I want to use the old IP address on this interface. Let me connect to configure and I'm gonna add a new IP address. Why new IP address and not replace the IP address? Because before we remove the old IP address, we want to make sure that the, we still have the connection using the new IP address. So let's put the old and new IP address. It's the old that router came with, but I'm gonna use this. Now I'm connected to the same interface, right? To the ethernet four. I'm going to change my IP address again into 192.168 network, just to confirm that uh, I have the access to the edge router using the new IP address, not new, the old one, you know. Okay, and okay, and details. Yes, I have new IP address on my computer. Now let's go back to the old tab where we have the old IP address and let's try to connect. And as you can see, it's loading. I'm going to close this tab, old tab. Now what I can do is remove this priority IP address and we'll stay with the original IP address, which we had on Ethernet, Ethernet zero. Now let's go into configuration and I'm going to do no IP address here and save. Now all the interfaces except Ethernet one are within the same broadcast domain with the subnet IP with this subnet and IP address that one is going to be the gateway for all the hosts connected to the Ethernet zero, two, three, four. Now just to prove that I'm gonna run the ping, it's running here, and I'm gonna unplug the cable and plug it into Ethernet three. Watch it. So this is unplugged now and I'm plugging it into Ethernet 3. Now. And as you can see, it starts pinging again. We can uh, change the tabs here just to refresh the page. And as you can see, Ethernet 4 is disconnected, but it looks like Edge router GUI doesn't know that the Ethernet 3 is already already connected. So let's navigate through the tabs, see if it does need to refresh. It does need to refresh. Now let's wait. This has to be discovered. That's the reason why all the interface are connected because it didn't boot the, didn't load the page yet. So I'm gonna wait or I'm just gonna say that's it guys. This is how you configure one subnet with several interfaces on the edge router. Switch zero is the main interface. Uh, you can call it as a bridge interface. On Mikrotix, it's a it will be a bridge interface. On Cisco, that would be a, a switch virtual interface. And then all the other uh, switch ports will be within the same VLAN. But here we don't use VLANs, it's just Think about this as a bridging like Microtik does or any other vendor that does this thing without using the VLANs. 
And now we can plug all the other holes, Ethernet to Ethernet 0, 2, 3 and 4, and they will be within the same sub. Thanks for watching and if you have comments or suggestions about the next video I need to record or I should record, leave the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.